Hi, I'm Michelle Sorrow for your Beauty TV, and I'm sitting here with the Hollywood hair guy, Dean Banowitz. Hello. Hi. So what a pleasure it is to sit down with you, Dean Banowitz. It's good to see you. Thank you, good to see you too. So the first thing I want to know is what are you doing to fill up your days now that you're not on American Idol season eight? Oh, geez. Well, you know, I mean, I start my day every day at 3 a.m. Wow. Because I have to get up and get ready because I have to do Ryan Seacrest for the radio show and then for E! News. And then after that is when I have my daily gig that I do, private clients or I have auditions or photo shoots or whatever hair emergency comes up. But your private clients, do you go to, are you house calls these days? I am house call. I'm like all over the place. Some, you know. Give me uh, the area codes. Oh, geez. A lot of, of course, 90210. But yep. surprising enough, I have a lot in Burbank. Really? Yeah, I'd give you the zip, but I don't know it. I don't know it off the top of my head, but that's close to where we are. Right, it's just it's just over the hill. So we're sitting in your house in the lovely backyard, but what's ironic about where you live is that you live on a street called DeWitt. Correct. But you're from DeWitt. I am from DeWitt. Now, is DeWitt, there a plan in that? Iowa. Well, you know, it's so funny because my I was so angry, I have to tell you. My realtor had showed me probably in, in the area of 40 different places, houses, when I was looking and I just didn't find anything I liked. And she goes, I have one more, it's not even on the market yet, it, it, like two more days it'll be on the market. And we literally turned into a drive and I'm like, I'm buying the house. Because of the name of I the don't, street. I don't even know what it looks like. And then, come to find out, my house number is my sister's phone number. What? Now sister, I know your house number, we're not going to say it out sister loud. Sister number three. Sister number, how many sisters? There's a family of 15 kids, well, correct? There's eight boys, seven girls. And so are you still really close with your family back in Iowa? You know, all of us are really close. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's the one thing my mother was very insistent upon is we all get along, period. That's just the way it works in the Banowitz house. There's no option. I love if it. If there's an issue, work it out, get over it, and move on to the next thing. Do you think that's helped you in your success working with all these different clients all over the 90210 and whatever else? Completely. You know, and, and you know, just, you know, flash back to American Idol because they did the first six years first six seasons, and you just have to think there's someone from anywhere USA. Right. So you're dealing with a lot of personalities, you're doing, you know, you're dealing with a lot of insecurities too. Sure. And you know when you open your personal private space up, you're really vulnerable. Right. So you have to know, you know, where you stand with people, and you have to have, you know, you have to, you have to work with your eyes and your heart. You have to really be sensitive about it. I love that you just said that, and that's the sense that I get from you when I go to your uh, HollywoodHairGuy.com website, which is fantastic, by the way. It's pretty fun. It's a lot of fun, but <clears throat> I was really thinking about that. Out of 15 children in a household, how perfect of a setup was that for you to be going from season one all the way, as long as you did, working with all these different types of characters? You're the perfect guy for them because you're the last stop. You know, I, I, I saw somewhere where you were doing people's hair on a weekly basis in the elevator down to the stage. Uh, so many, uh, you know, because it's a live show and they're like, okay, you've got 20 minutes to, you know, finish. Each person. You know, whoever. And I'm like, okay. And then they come back five minutes later. All right, we gotta go. And I'm like, I'm not done. Uh, and you know, thank God for a butane curling iron because I was curling hair in the elevator on the way to the stage. I can't believe it. So much stress, I cannot even tell you. So is it fair to say that you're happy those days are over? Do you know what? I am, I am actually thrilled mm -hmm. that I, you know, six years is a long time. It's a long time. And the thing is, is you don't want to be so consumed in a show that you're only known for the show. Right. You know, and the thing is, is this is my philosophy. It's better to leave a show when the show is still loved by people, Absolutely. because then you still have relevance. If you, if you know, if you wait till the show gets canceled, then you, then you go through this. We like to call it the whole, you know, that that post reality depression. Mm. Like you're on a reality show, everybody loves you. Ah, you're the queen of the world, and then one week after the, you know, tour, nobody knows you. And welcome back to high school because that's where you're going. You know, it's a big adjustment for people. What do you mean by high school? You know, it's like Carmen Rasmussen. She was season two. She was on the show when she was 16. Right. So she's 17 when the show and the tour finishes. Well, welcome now to what? junior, <laughs> welcome to your junior class. Right. She still has to go back to school. It's like this abrupt, you know, spotlight and then you're thrown back into reality and you're just like, it's a lot to take. That's a, lo that's a big reality check. It's a huge reality check.